Hey, welcome back. This is episode number two of my uh, funny head injury stories. <laughs> um, th this this one uh, is a lot of fun. <laughs> so, uh, in, in the in the early to mid seventies, I had uh, I had this bike. It was a really cool bike. I loved it. Um, it had uh, I, it, it had the red, white, and blue streamers coming plastic streamers. Uh, coming out of the handlebars um, because America, right? And then uh, it, it had a it had a banana seat, so it had a long padded seat. Uh, state of the art technology back then, uh, plastic cover with uh, uh, the uh, the yellow foam inside of it to uh, to give you some padding. And uh, and then we had um, it, it had a it had a sissy bar. That's what that's literally what it was called. It was called a sissy bar. It was this. Uh, it was this loopy bar on the back of the seat um, that kept you from falling off the bike backwards. And uh, um, why? Why? Um, it was called a sissy bar. I have no idea. Um, apparently, the reasoning um, and the logic in the 70s of keeping your, uh, keeping your kid from falling off a bike backwards made them effeminate um, and weak. Um, I'm, I'm seriously, I'm not sure, but it was called a sissy bar uh, <laughs> because you, you know, a seven year old should be tough enough to fall off their bike backwards without a helmet or any pads and just get right back up on the bike and, and keep going. Honestly, I, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> uh, thankful, thankfully we've progressed a little bit, uh, in our safety thinking, uh, since then. So, uh, uh, one day, um, my mother is at work. Uh, I know it's summertime because all of us are off from school and, um, somebody left me alone just a little too long. They left me, uh, to myself just a little bit too long. And I had this great idea. Um, I, I, we lived on an alley, uh, that you had to take another alley to get to it. It kind of made a T. Um, and you had to turn on this alley to get to the alley to Pine Street where, where we lived. And um, the, that alley that we lived on was, was on a hill. And I, you know, at seven, I'm like, oh my gosh, riding up this hill is so hard. Uh, so <laughs> I had this, I thought, I know, um, I'll tie the dog to my handlebars. <laughs> and have the dog pull me up the hill. This is going to be awesome. And so I tie Pepper to the handlebars. Pepper is half Dalmatian, half Labrador Retriever, Black Lab. And um, he's probably at this point, um, he's probably five years old. Uh, so he's in his prime. He is a tough and uh, muscular dog and he's like ready to go. <laughs> So, and he catches on right away what it is I'm trying to do. And he's excited. He's like, yeah, this is going to be cool. So I tie him, I get on the, I get on the bike and I say, go Pepper, go. And he takes off and it's slow at first, but then we start to pick up speed. And, uh, and I'm like, yes, this is working. It's going to be awesome. And then we start to pick up more speed because Pepper can run a whole lot faster than I can. <laughs> And then we're going so fast that I have to take my feet off the pedals because I can't, I can't, I can't move my legs as fast as Pepper is pulling us up this hill. And then we get to the top of the hill to the T. So Pepper has to turn left or right. Pepper decides to turn right and he goes right and my bike goes right and I keep going straight <laughs> and I am flying. I am not, uh, I, I am not. Uh, going fast, I am literally flying through the air <laughs> and I smack head first into a car. It's car, it's chrome bumper. Uh, all the cars were made out of metal back then. And I bounce off that bumper and hit head first into a wooden fence, fall down on, onto the macadam, the blacktop and go to sleep. And next thing I know, um, one of my sisters is opening the gate going, Oh my God, that was Dean. <laughs> uh, because apparently they were walking through that, that yard that was behind that fence right at the moment that this happened. So, 
<laughs> Somebody picks me up, carries me home. They bring the dog and the bike home as well. And uh, they call my mom at work. And my mom's medical advice is give him some ice um, for his head and don't let him go to sleep. Because apparently somebody with, with a head injury, you're not, it's, it's not a good idea to let them go to sleep. So, so not call an ambulance, not walk the four or five blocks to the hospital to get this kid checked out. Nope. Give him some ice <laughs> and don't let him go to sleep. And because my siblings were also kids. <laughs> at some point, I'm like, I'm so tired. You know, I was whining so much at them. I'm so tired. My head hurts. Just let me go to sleep. They just let me go to sleep and take a nap. <laughs> so there is my second fun and funny head injury story. <laughs> Aren't you glad we're no longer in the 70s? <laughs> Have a great day.